Have you ever wondered why some people seem to effortlessly inspire and lead others while others struggle? Is it an inborn trait, or can it be nurtured? These questions often cross our minds as we engage with the world around us. The enigma of leadership, its significance and the role it plays in molding our society can be quite fascinating. Leadership, undeniably, is a vital aspect that propels the engines of progress. It's the catalyst that emboldens individuals, teams, and entire organizations to aim for superiority and accomplish their objectives. But what fabricates a leader? Is it their charm that captivates the crowd? Their capacity for making challenging decisions when required? Or is it exceptional vision that distinguishes them from the rest? John C. Maxwell, a globally recognized leadership authority, eloquently stated, A leader is one who knows the way, goes the, and shows the way. This statement elegantly encapsulates the essence of leadership. A leader is not just someone who possesses knowledge about the route to victory, but is also audacious enough to navigate that and shepherd others along the journey. They stand as the lighthouse that brightens the course for others to tread. Yet leadership isn't a characteristic that one is merely born with. It's more than a genetic predisposition. It is an art that can be refined and cultivated over time. It involves ongoing voyage of learning, self-realization, and maturation. It demands a readiness to break free from one's comfort zone, to gamble, and to welcome change. It is about the courage to make mistakes and learn from them, about the audacity to question the status quo, and the strength to stand tall in the face of adversity. Leadership further the skills to motivate others, to create a sense of purpose, and to build an environment of trust and collaboration, it is about fostering a culture where diverse ideas are encouraged and valued, where success is celebrated, and failure is seen as an opportunity to learn and grow. Coaching takes on a critical role in this journey of leadership development. It offers the roadmap, the tools and strategies that leaders need to augment their abilities, circumvent obstacles, and realize their maximum potential. It's much like a compass, aiding leaders to traverse the intricate landscape of leading others. Coaching and mentoring can provide the necessary feedback and insights that help leaders evolve and adapt. Continual learning and development are integral to leadership. It involves constantly improving one's knowledge, skills, and attitudes. A truly great leader never stops learning. They are always looking for ways to, to grow, to improve, and to make a positive impact. They understand that leadership is a journey and not a destination. They are committed to their own growth well as the growth of those they lead. So, the next time you find yourself in awe of a great leader remember, they were not born this way. They have devoted countless hours, days and years to honing their skills, comprehending their strengths and weaknesses, and cultivating the appropriate attitude. It's not about being born a leader, but about developing into one. It involves continuous learning, empathy, resilience and determination. Remember, every great leader was once a follower, and every follower has the potential to become a great leader. Now that we've established the importance of leadership, what are the principles that guide its development? Let's dive into the heart of the matter. Leadership development is not an overnight process. It is a journey of self-discovery and growth, a journey that requires commitment, perseverance, and a deep understanding of oneself and others. One of the fundamental principles of leadership development is self-awareness. It is the ability to recognize and understand your moods, emotions, and drives, as well as their effect on others. It's about knowing your strengths and weaknesses, your values and beliefs. It's about understanding that your actions and decisions, your words and silence, have an impact on those around you. Communication is another critical principle. Great leaders are great communicators. They listen more than they speak. They inspire and motivate with their words. They articulate their vision clearly and passionately, making sure everyone on their team understands and shares that vision. Lastly, but by no means least, is the principle of continuous learning. Leadership development is a never-ending journey of learning and growth. It's about being open to new ideas, seeking feedback, and constantly looking for ways to improve. It's about learning from your successes and failures, from your experiences and those of others. Let's turn to Jim Rohn, who so eloquently encapsulated the essence of leadership. The challenge of leadership is to be strong but not rude, be kind but not weak, be bold but not bully, be thoughtful but not lazy, be humble but not timid, be proud but not arrogant, have humor but without folly. This quote serves as a poignant reminder that leadership is a delicate balance of strength and kindness, boldness and humility, pride and modesty, humor and seriousness. 
These principles, when applied, can transform an individual into a leader. They provide a roadmap for personal and professional growth, a guide for navigating the complexities of leadership. And remember, leadership is not about being in charge, it's about taking care of those in your charge. So, let's take these principles to heart, and embark on this journey of leadership development together. So, if leadership is a skill that can be developed, how does coaching fit into the picture? Well, let's break it down. Coaching is not just about teaching or instructing, it's about guiding individuals to discover and utilize their own strengths and talents. It's about helping them to see the potential within themselves and harness it to achieve their goals. Imagine a seed. Within that tiny seed is the potential to become a mighty tree. But without the right conditions, sunlight, water, and nourishing soil, the seed will remain just that, a seed. A coach, in this analogy, is like the gardener who provides those conditions allowing the seed to germinate, grow, and eventually become the tree it was meant to be. In the realm of leadership, coaching plays a similar role. It helps leaders to identify their strengths, address their weaknesses, and unlock their potential. It provides a safe space for leaders to explore new ideas, take risks, and learn from their mistakes. It encourages self-reflection, fosters self-awareness, and promotes personal growth. Zig Ziglar, a renowned author and motivational speaker once said, a lot of people have gone further than they thought they could because someone else thought they could. This statement beautifully encapsulates the essence of coaching. A coach believes in their coachee, even when the coachee may not believe in themselves. They see the potential within the coachee and help them to see it too. A coach is not just a teacher or a guide but also a cheerleader, a sounding board, a mirror, a catalyst. Through their belief, their encouragement, their questioning, their reflecting, they help leaders to discover their own path to overcome their obstacles, to reach their goals. Coaching is not about creating leaders, but about nurturing and developing the leaders that already exist within each of us. It's about helping individuals to become the best versions of themselves, to become the leaders they were meant to be. Coaching, then, is the catalyst that propels potential leaders towards their goals. How does all this tie into Christian thought and our roles as Christian leaders? This is a question that brings us to the heart of this discussion. When we examine leadership through the lens of Christian thought, a transformative concept emerges, servant leadership. In the Christian perspective, leadership is not about asserting power or control. Rather, it is about serving others with love, humility, and integrity. This concept is deeply rooted in the teachings of Jesus Christ who said, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. Now let's consider how the principles of leadership development and coaching align with this concept. If you recall, we discussed the importance of self-awareness, continuous learning, and empowering others. These principles fit perfectly within the framework of servant leadership. Firstly, self-awareness. As Christian leaders, we are called to examine our hearts and actions regularly. This introspection helps us identify our strengths and weaknesses, enabling us to serve others more effectively. Secondly, continuous learning. As followers of Christ, we are lifelong learners. We are always seeking to grow and improve, not for our own glory, but to better serve those who look to us for guidance. Lastly, empowering others. Jesus didn't hoard power, he shared it. He equipped his disciples, empowering them to lead and serve. In the same way, as Christian leaders, we should aim to empower those we lead, helping them discover and utilize their God-given talents and abilities. So you see the principles of leadership development and coaching are not separate from our faith. Instead, they enrich it, providing practical strategies for embodying the servant leadership that Christ modeled. In conclusion, leadership in Christian thought is a journey of service. It's about putting others before ourselves, learning and growing so that we can better serve and empowering others to do the same. As Christian leaders, our goal isn't just to lead, but to serve, guide, and inspire. Now that we've explored the principles of leadership development and coaching, it's time for action. As we've learned, leadership isn't a destination, it's a journey. A journey of self-discovery, growth, and continual learning. A journey where you're not just responsible for your own actions, but for guiding others along their own path. As John Maxwell once said, leaders become great, not because of their power, but because of their ability to empower others. So, take these principles of leadership development and coaching and apply them to your life. Begin by knowing yourself, understanding your strengths, and acknowledging your weaknesses. 
This is not a sign of weakness, rather it's a sign of strength and humility. As Jim Rohn beautifully articulated, the challenge of leadership is to be strong but not rude, be kind but not weak, be bold but not a bully, be thoughtful but not lazy, be humble but not timid, be proud but not arrogant, have humor but without folly. As you step into your role as a leader remember that this journey is not one you undertake alone. You're a guide, a mentor, a coach. Your role is not to create followers but to inspire other leaders. Zig Ziglar rightly pointed out, you don't build a business, you build people, and then people build the business. To continue on this journey, to keep learning and growing, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Here, we'll delve deeper into the principles of leadership and personal development. We'll explore the challenges, the triumphs, and the transformative power of effective leadership. We'll walk this path together, learning from each other, supporting each other, and growing together. Remember, leadership isn't about being in charge, it's about taking care of those in your charge. Subscribe for more wisdom and guidance on this journey of leadership.